Nigerian youths have been taxed to contribute their quota towards national development and support the federal government in its quest to transform the nation. This was during the launch of a book in Abuja titled Nigerian Youths and the Next Level. The book, uh, which highlights steps for youths nationwide to t uh, key into the federal government's development plan, also urges youths, irrespective of ethnicity and religion, to be ambassadors of Nigeria, especially using the social media as a veritable tool. We feel that uh, the youth constituency needs to be carried along. The government actually means well, but whatever you're going to do that uh, excludes the youth will not go far. I thought we feel when it comes to the issues of security, when it comes to the issue of economy, the youth should be carried along, uh, which we believe will go a long way in stabilizing the economy. I believe there's no better way to inform the youth of Nigeria than to put, you know, what the government is talking about in a booklet form like this so as they can uh, have the, the, the mental capacity to do what the government is expected uh, uh, from them. The, the issue is that we have left the rural setting to the urban city. A lot of rush is from the lower rural area to the urban area. Now making the people now to get to the city to be frustrated. Now, when you leave those rural areas to the city and say, oh, you're coming for a white-collar job, unfortunately, those white-collar jobs are not there. So what else will the youth now get themselves involved? They turn it into, they now becomes a talk and so many other things. So, but the emphasis right now should be that the youths should go back into farming. The youths should engage themselves into some level of technological know-how. If you watch America, they always post pictures that can promote their society. People post pictures outside the social media, outside the internet, that can promote their country. Look at Dubai. Dubai come up with an idea of how to move their country with technology, with projects, with buildings. And you are projecting all over the world. And people are keen into the project. Why? Because they feel that Nigeria, that Dubai was the most safest place in the country. So we should change that narrative. We should stop sending wrong impression to other citizens, other countries, that Nigerians are not safe, Nigerians are not competent, Nigeria does not have access to resources and all of that.